Good evening. When the first rounds of the COVID-19 vaccine became available, the state said the first doses would go to those who work closely with COVID positive people like frontline workers and first responders. News 13's Rachel Knapp learned that teachers in a rural part of New Mexico have also been given the vaccine. The state says that's allowed under certain circumstances. After healthcare workers, nursing homes, and first responders are vaccinated, the state says they'll eventually shift the focus to the elderly and people with serious health issues. Really, it's a matter of the doses we receive and getting them pushed out and then making sure we've covered a, a given group before we move to the next group. But a couple of days ago, another group outside of that initial list announced they got the vaccine. Staff at Hobbs Municipal Schools. From the bus driver to the nutrition service person to the classroom teacher. The superintendent told us in an email, HMS was notified that school staff could get the vaccine. In the Facebook post, HMS says employees got the shot so they can get kids back in the classroom. Pictures show lines and lines of staff waiting for the shot. And I think it's uh, it's just wonderful. And we are hoping that educators throughout the state can also have access to the vaccine very soon. So how did school staff jump the line to get the vaccine? The DOH says under the current guidance, facilities may offer the vaccine to people in lower priority groups when either the demand subsides in the current groups or if doses are about to expire. For educator advocates, they say this is the first step to getting back to normal in New Mexico. Schools do need to be open. Uh, society can't function without our schools open, but we just want to make sure that we do so as safely as possible. Rachel Knapp, KRQE News 13. We're told about 400 doses were given to HMS employees. The DOH adds that next week it will issue new guidance on vaccine distribution.